Namaste and thank you for sitting with me with your undivided attention. And today's class is about resistance. Let's clarify a little bit about that since you may feel it but you exactly don't know what is it you are resisting or how you are resisting. Resistance from this point of view is when you are not accepting new data or new information in your system, in your mental system, in your emotional system, and in your physical system. Physically is about connection, it's about having um, mm, enough space for you to move more globally, more um, in the planet. When you are locked in in only one place, you're only receiving the information that is in the land of that place. And if you don't add a new data, that is just goes into loop and that loop, it becomes your memories, it becomes your program. And you start resisting or being open to physically receive um, different points of view. Emotionally, in the same way. The emotional body has nine emotions and you have a wide range of responses emotionally and mostly in intensity. No? The, the emotional body is about the intensity that you um, express your belief systems. So when there is resistance, you don't want to express the same thing that, that you have in a different way. If I have sadness, I can cry, but if I have sadness, I can have a melancholy and I can be writing a poem, for example. That diversity of expression of emotions gives you more wholeness. Same thing with ideas, with knowledge. Not only ideas in terms of information and, and you know, Google information, but also knowledge the knowledge that, that opens your mind to a different realm, to a different dimension, to a different points of view. When you have no resistance, you want to learn. When you are resisting, you are holding in the past as your point of reference to be you. You attach your memories to your identity. I know because I know. I am because I know. And that locked you in, in time, in a space, and in a timeline. What it means timeline is that you create certain mm, friends or mm, different energies that vibrate and the same with the same qualities with the same uh, vibration so let's say for example if you are resisting to love differently or to acquire a different information that is in opposition to your belief system then you are creating um, a blame or you are creating an opinion or you are creating a justification something that say no I don't want to in, be inclusive in another world and I don't want the other world to be inclusive in mine with that then you are just locked in one world and that world is just looping energetically in your body, in your mind, and in your emotions. Maintaining the consciousness 
only in one single track of mind. So resistance is don't want to learn and don't want to learn what is unlimited. Don't want to learn what is fresh and new. What, don't want to learn something that challenge your old memories or how you have learned or what you have learned before. Resistance is about um, holding back and I won't say by fear, I will say simply because of a stubbornness of not wanting to acquire other ways that will maybe destroy your ways of thinking, approaching life, etc. Now, this you may think that is an exterior thing, like receiving the energy from when you're traveling, right? It's an exterior thing. But the internal resistance is about love. The internal resistance is that love is expressed in diverse ways, in diverse forms, in diverse lives. And when you include that in you, you have the sense of belonging. But you belong to the whole, making you think that, oh, you're going to lose your individuality, that you're going to lose your specialness. But that's not the case. It's the opposite. You create more charisma, more openness, more fluid, more prana in your body. So resistance, when we talk about love, is really futile. Because at the end, when you're holding back that deep desire of your heart to learn, what happens is that you start imposing rules on others. You start to put down others. You start uh, being cruel at the end. It's, it's just cruelty. You become so rigid. And what is rigid in the flow of life, it breaks. So at the end, you are just going to be alone. You are going to be ignorant. And you are going to destroy yourself. You are not going to have the youth. You are not going to have the joy of progressing, of learning, of crossing limits that is so exciting. It's not something that, you know, we make such a big deal just to learn something new, something that challenge your um, ways of being, right? Just an example, the other day I asked somebody, well, would it be possible if you travel a little bit around the planet? And the person said, no, this is definitely not going to happen. I have a family. I have a job, I, that's not possible. So the, that no to life, that no to new possibilities is resistance. But it's imaginary because if you really want to, um, your power of alchemy, readjust everything possible for you to take the, the new learnings because it's the law, it's the law of, of creation. You are here to learn, and you are 100% supported. Now, why we resist? What we say is, you have the right to resist the rhythm of learning, but you don't have the right to resist learning. You can pace yourself, but you cannot say no to your next step of exploration, to your next step of openness, to your next step of expansion. Learning is so primer, and at the same time, we have not been taught how to learn. That's the pitfall of our education 
and we are just trained to fear the unknown rather than to be excited for something that is giving us the ultimate nourishment, which is wisdom, life, and love. Thank you again for sitting with me, and I will see you in our next class. Bye for now.